In our last section here, we are going to look at ways we can combat pollution. We've addressed this a little bit in the last section. We're going to focus on it more here. So, how do we combat the cops? Well, one thing we can do is control point sources. We can mandate higher sewage treatment standards. We can legislate stricter laws for industry emissions. We can enforce current rules. Until the 1970s, sewage was discharged directly into waterways. The Federal Water Pollu Pollution Control Act of 1972 put the EPA in charge of monitoring all point source pollutants. Here is a brief history of that. So the Federal Water, Federal Water Pollution Control Act was in 1972, which established uniform nationwide controls for each category of major polluting industries. The Safe Drinking Water Act of 1974 required minimum safety standards for every community water supply. And it tested many, many things. Uh, bacteria, nitrates, arsenic, mercury. It was amended in 1985. At which point we're trying to get a goal of fishable and swimmable quality for all surface waters in the country. So what are the standards? What is permissible in our water? We have maximum containment levels, MCLs. It sets permissible limits for 83 contaminants. Here are some of them. So if arsenic is above 0 0.05 milligrams per liter, it is considered highly toxic. Fluoride, if it's above 4 milligrams per liter, is leads to skeletal damage. Right. Other fun things uh, down here. Benzene, carbon tetrachloride, uh, trichloroethylene, and vinyl chloride all have cancer risks. One thing to notice, the action level for lead at 0 0.015 milligrams per liter, considered highly toxic, um, is a little bit of a funny one, because the action level for lead, as it says here, is related to the treatment of water to reduce the lead to the safe level, but there's no actual MCL for lead. Okay, so we can legislate point sources. What do we do about non-point sources? Well, there is some legislation we can do. We can ban phosphate detergents and lawn chemicals. We can mandate septic systems and permit composting toilets and constructed wetlands. So these would be man-weighed wetlands, not natural. We can look into recycling uh, agricultural waste, but mandate stricter sediment control for development and deforestation. So some of it can be mandated, some of it can, but in general, we got to come up with a different plan. Um, we can rethink wastewater treatment. If we look at the waste as a resource, gray water is a great fertilizer for plants, but it just goes out like the black water. Black water can be composted and can turn into mulch for plants. Okay. This is a composting toilet. Um, I believe this was in the Middle East. They have an anaerobic treatment of sludge, so they actually take their waste, treat it anaerobically, remember anaerobically means without oxygen, and get methane out, which they can then use. Right. Here is a question. 
we've got regulations for gray water and black water on land. What about on sea, at sea? Uh, obviously very polluted 